So we got some SMG nerfs that everyone thought would impact the meta. I was waiting till sim.gg would update their site, but they've taken a little bit longer this time around. So I thought I'd go ahead and pull the damage profiles. And with the way they do descriptions, it makes it very hard to tell how big these changes are. Uh, and so I had to go into the game manually, try to figure it out. And this is pretty easy. And this is something you can do on your own in the pregame lobby because all the information is there. It just is a little bit of time consuming to make sure that you get targets that don't move and all that type of stuff. But after you've been able to gather that data, you can plug it into the spreadsheet and find out where the TTK sit and if it's enough to change the actual meta. So this is kind of a little bit of a preview of what changed. I primarily focus on that first damage range because that is where SMGs are supposed to excel. The same way if we were looking at the long range, we would see what the long range damage profiles were. Uh, and these were the ones that received damage changes pretty much all the others receive slight range changes. So mostly negligible because their first damage range will still have the same damage values. You just have to be aware that maybe it's a meter closer or something like that. But the MX-9 did receive a buff. Uh, and what we can see here is the damage goes from 34 up to 36 for the torso pretty much. So that includes the stomach, chest, and neck. Uh, it's only two damage, which doesn't really impact the TTK. As you can see, it's still nine shots to kill in those areas. And if you go to chest on sim.gg, you'll get that shots to kill. Um, but you gotta keep in mind that on average, you might get some headshots in the mix and you can see that the average shots to kill or the likelihood of you getting a nine or an eight shot to kill goes from 8.6, which would mean more than likely you'll probably get a nine shot to kill, but there are instances where you're going to get an eight shot to kill the, the it dropped down to 8.34 so you're more than likely to get an eight shot to kill than you were before they actually dropped that number so a lot of times if we go to an eight shot to kill right here we could drop that number just to see what it looks like 567 so the mx9 actually kind of receives a little bit of a buff enough to where it's noticeable but the problem still remains that it has a 32 round mag keeping in mind that the average damage per mag increases with this so you are more likely to get more out of the mag but it's still a 32 round mag that brings us to the veil and we can see that the veil also received kind of a similar buff to the mid torso and that doesn't really change the ttk but again increases the likelihood of you getting an 11 shot to kill actually a high probability at 11.2 compared to 11.45 that we had before so if we go ahead and bump that down to 11 you can see the ttk sits right at 630 so pretty straightforward there so overall probably won't feel like a huge difference but the consistency of getting 11 shots to kill over 12 is going to be noticeable if you're used to using the Vel. The Bass P, I saw a lot of people kind of gassing this one up. I even saw Aiden running this in a tournament, in a competitive tournament against other top level players. So I was like, maybe it is better than it looks. And what you can see here is this one actually had a dramatic impact. It, it, even though it's only one damage right here from 27 up to 28, uh, that is enough to, to bring the consistency of the shots to kill. Um, a little bit lower. So you can see this is always gonna be an 11 shot to kill now versus before, sometimes it could be a little bit higher, um, but it was so close that you can see that that number was already pretty close there, even if you got a head shot in the mix. Now it, it, it's even lower and you're gonna be guaranteed to get 690. And then in some instances it can be faster, which isn't remarkable in any way, but it can actually feel really good, especially if you're a headshot aimer. And then we got the Fennec, which was meta a long time ago. They did modify it quite a bit, but in this case, it actually got buffs across the board. We got a headshot, went up by two, the neck went up by one, the stomach by one, and then the limb by one. Uh, and what that equates to is overall faster TTKs, but if you're looking at these numbers, close range TTKs shouldn't be in the 700s. And the fact that this number is a 14.1, they basically did lower the shots to kill from on an average, probably around 15 down to 14. Uh, and now that we have that, what does that actually mean? It means that almost nothing changed with the close range meta, except for maybe the Fennec is a little bit more viable. Instead of having an 800 TTK, it's down to 715. And then those other ones, you're more likely to get a particular type of TTK. Um, but overall, I factored that into most of my equations anyways, where the Vel, it's 636, 693, which I already factored into my TTK. These changes weren't enough, in my opinion, to move the needle on any of these in particular, it does make some of those options a little bit more viable, but there's other reasons to not like the MX-9 or the Vel, even though the MX-9 
already has the same TTK and pretty good. Now it's even better, but the reality is you still have a small mag. So we're getting to a good spot where you can actually use pretty much anything you want, whether it's the Vel, the MX-9, the Lockman Sub, Vaznev 9K, which didn't get touched, which is still pretty good. The Hurricane, if you get the headshot in the mix, Mini Bok, I don't know what they're doing with that gun. Bass P, a lot more viable, especially because it has nice mobility. PDSW, because of the bullet velocity. Fennec, Kind of not really, I mean, that's kind of still a bad option. And then the ISO 45, which is still pretty good. So let me know what's your thoughts on the change after the update. Appreciate all the support. Thank you for watching as always. Have a great day.